Quiet luxury, the traditional and timeless elegance of the wealthy elite passed over from generation to generation. This aesthetic comes with an air of, if you know, you know. It's a way of saying, I spent thousands of dollars on an item without the label. But let's be real, not everyone has that kind of money. But who cares? Why should it stop us from dressing like we've got money? If you're on a budget, let me help you with the tips and tricks to achieving this aesthetic. Stick around till the end of the video when I share some of the must-haves for the wardrobe if you want to perfect this aesthetic. Step one, have the right mindset. This is an aesthetic that is all about being classy and sophisticated. The quiet luxury aesthetic is a way of living and an attitude that shows sophistication, wealth, and a sense of tradition without being flashy. It's a style that comes from families who have had money for generations and have developed a refined, understated taste. It's a way of living that conveys class and heritage without needing to say much. So start working on your attitude and acting like you are the main character. Start working on your goals, on your body, acquire a skill set, and get that bag. Step two, know the color palette. If you want to achieve this aesthetic, stick to earth tones and patterns like brown, beige, black, charcoal, navy, white, and green. Combining these colors, you can create an elegant, sophisticated look without trying too hard. Step 3. Logos and Labels If you wear an outfit with big logos, you look like a fool. Big logos make outfits look cheap, and that's not the way to go if you want to look like quiet luxury. Go for clean clothes with quiet logos. It's better to have a wardrobe full of fitted clothes with an unknown origin than a wardrobe with one expensive coach bag and a bunch of Primarchs or Zara's. And in case you're wondering why, wealthy men don't shop brands that loudly announce themselves by placing large logos on their clothes. Luxury brands don't advertise their brand on every item of clothing they sell. Their elite customers will know how to recognize them. Displaying logos as a sign of your wealth makes you look like you're trying too hard and reeks of desperation. It also screams new money. Step 4. Thrift. If you're on a tight budget, then thrift clothes. You can snag expensive, logoless brands for very little money. One thing that I really like about thrifting is that the clothing items are one of a kind and not mass produced. So if you're shopping from Zara and H&M, just remember, someone else might end up wearing the same outfit as you. That's why I try to thrift as much as possible. And if you don't have a thrift store near you, start checking thrift stores on Instagram. There are many stores that only sell clothes online. Step 5. Get it tailored. Wealthy people wear fitted clothes. I know the baggy aesthetic is in right now, but if you want to look like quiet luxury, you need to go for clothes that fit you properly. The best way to always wear a fitted clothes is to have a tailor to adjust your clothes to fit you perfectly or just tailor your entire outfit. Go to a tailor. You already know the colors for this aesthetic. Select the fabric for a shirt and a pant. Get your measurements and get them tailored. You can always use Pinterest to take some inspiration for the outfit. From color to overall silhouette, remember, fitted clothes and classic pieces imply taste, class, and wealth. If you can't afford a tailor, you'll have to spend a little more time trying out outfits and making sure you pick the ones that have a perfect fit. Step six, always look comfortable. At the end of the day, the key to embodying the minimalist quiet luxury on a budget is to go for basic silhouettes without statement details. Cozy cardigans, knitted sets, and breezy slack. Luckily for you, there are many affordable brands that can offer you just that. You can also get staples like neutral trench coats, tailored pants, and minimalist accessories at affordable prices. If you want to cultivate quiet luxury, you have to cultivate looking like you're not stressed about the daily worries of life, like what to wear. Looking comfortable means you haven't put too much thought into your outfit. You've just woken up and thrown a couple of items on and still look like a bag of money. You might not have the privilege of being worry-free in real life, but you can certainly dress like you do. Step 7. Know your fabrics. Knowing your fabrics gives you an idea about what to wear and how to match your outfits. Nylon, polyester, and rayon are all artificial fibers and won't hang properly on your body like natural wool or cotton fabrics. Make sure not to mix these fabrics, otherwise you'll end up looking like a fashion accident. You also want to make sure you mix natural fabrics only with natural fabrics, and synthetic fabrics with only synthetic fabrics. Think of it this way, if you suddenly feel the urge to wear your cool coat on your Adidas tracks, don't. Step 8. Hair. It's important that your hair looks healthy and shiny. Shampoo at least once a week if you have short hair, and twice a week if you have long hair. Don't shampoo for too long, as it can strip away your hair of its natural oils. Always, and I mean always, condition your hair. Oiling your hair at least twice a week, the night before you shampoo, or at least two to three hours before your shampoo will improve the quality of your hair. When it comes to hairstyle, keep it simple. If you have longer hair, go for a curtain cut. And if you want to keep it shorter for a classy tapered cut, a quiff or side parting haircut will do. Step 9. Wear classy shoes. Shoes are vital to creating that quiet luxury aesthetic. Leather shoes, loafers, oxfords, and sandals create an air of wealth around you, so you need to have at least one of those in your wardrobe. As the saying goes, a good pair of shoes makes the outfit, so it's always good to spend a little more time and attention on your 
your shoes when you put a quiet luxury look together. Buy at least one pair of good quality and well-made shoes. Step 10, smell like big money. To smell like big money, you can invest in one signature perfume or combine two cheap ones. If you wanna look rich, then you have to smell nice too. Smell tells a lot about a person, where they live and what they do. Getting a signature perfume or cologne that commands an elegant personality is key to achieving that quiet aesthetic vibe. Always wear a small amount of subtle and sophisticated scents. Woodsy scents are always classy, while sugary scents smell cheap. You don't have to break the bank to smell expensive. You can wait for deals at your favorite stores and save up for a perfume that smells good. If you want actual examples of big money perfumes, check out the last video that I made, which goes into a lot more detail. Act like quiet luxury online. Wealthy people take care of their social media. These days, being rich extends to your online presence. You've probably noticed rich people take pictures at well-lit events and splash photos with stunning backgrounds all over their pages. Want to have a quiet luxury aesthetic? Try doing that. Don't just see your Instagram page as a platform to show how attractive you are. Focus on turning it into a storybook about your life. You might not be able to fly off to gorgeous destinations yet, but you can find cool places that will photograph beautifully and take pictures there. And if you can't, just keep it simple. Use solid color backgrounds, use clean filler photos, and post about the book that you're reading. Take my word, your Instagram will look so much better. Now to finish it off, if you want this perfect look, these are some of the must-haves you need to include in your wardrobe. One, a classy watch. And if you're on a budget, go for watches like Casio Vintage. Two, a brown leather jacket. And yes, you can always thrift one. The older and more raw it looks, the better. Three, a pair of linen summer shirts and pants for the effortless old money summer vibes. Four, a leather belt. Opt for brown or black. Make sure the buckle is simple. Five, a chain. Ideally gold, but silver works too. Try to add a small locket or pendant to it. For example, a little cross or a St. Christopher medallion or even a small ring. Six, speaking of rings, always wear a signet ring or just any simple ring that is your signature. You can always thrift rings and chains. Seven, invest some money in a good leather wallet. If you've always wanted to have a quiet luxury aesthetic, these tips and secrets will have you looking like a bag of money in no time. Try them out and let me know which ones worked for you in the comments below. See you in my next video.